Hey YouTube, this is a quick video on my HHO system. I'm not going to show everything in this video, but I am going to show um, just my torch with this up new upgraded power supply. As you can see over here. Um, I'll be I'll, that'll probably be a separate video too, and I'm going to be mounting everything in an enclosure hopefully soon, so I get this out of my room where it's now it's pretty dangerous to have in here. So, anyways, I'm going to just fire up my stuff and. Hopefully you will enjoy. All right. So I just I just fired everything up over there on my power supply. All right. Um, here's the production. You ca the camera really doesn't capture it too well. But there's a lot of bubbles going up in there. Oh, sorry. Let me see if. It really isn't capturing it too well, but there is a ton of production. I can't even really describe it. But you can see here I have a nail, and I'm gonna try to get it on the background of that trash can, which is dark, so you can see what's happening. All right, and I'm gonna fire up my torch now. Um, let's just see if you can. Alright, and part of the flame that's coming out of the torch is invisible and it doesn't, the camera isn't picking it up well. So, the flame is actually longer. I can demonstrate that. It does, like right now, uh, I don't know, but the flame is longer than it looks and it's probably about two, two inches or so at this amount of power. And I can go up a little bit more. Remember, that's about good. Let's look at that. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put my welding goggles on now and then just melt this nail down real quick. Let me just make sure I get in a good shot here. All right, I think I'm done. Let me let this cool down before I take off my goggles. All right, that looks about good. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down and I'm gonna shut off my torch. All right, shut off. I can just go ahead and turn the torch part completely off. And um, yeah, so hopefully I got a good video of, on my, me melting down that nail. And of course that nail is steel. I mean not of course, but the mail the nail is steel. So um, when HHO hits steel and it melts it all the way, it kind of reacts with it because of the steam, and it it makes all the sparks like that. Here I'm gonna go ahead and shut off everything over there. But um, yeah, um, so you can see all the sparks that came off of it. Now I can about touch that, so I'm going to take that out of there. And here is our new nail. Hold on. It's still a little warm, but I can definitely touch it. That's the new nail, <laughs> I guess. And there's a bunch of air pockets in, in that little melted part you see there, so it's not really strong. You can't weld steel with HHO. You can braze it, but welding it is too hard and it just is weak because of the steel reaction with the gas when it's melted. So, yeah, that's actually, yeah, it just kind of crumbles. So, I really did melt that nail down pretty quick. And this thing can braze this torch so far. Um, let me try to get this. You can see I, I didn't braze something together, but I did melt a little bit of some really thick brazing rod onto this piece of metal. And this is actually like appliance metal from like a power supply. So you can see that br that brass right there. So that 
um, proves that I can um, braise. And I wasn't, uh, just now I wasn't really running at my fullest power that I can. Um, my rectifiers stay pretty warm, they don't really get hot. Um, I am using parallel rectifiers, just to let you guys know. And it does seem to be work, working fine. The only thing that's limiting my power now is my microwave oven transformer right there. You can see the rectifiers here. And they're all attached to one heat sink and they have two fans on them right there, you, you can see. So it keeps, that thing keeps it real cool and it really doesn't even need, um, I don't, the parallel rectifiers is working great for me, even though some people say it's not good to do that. I don't really find a problem with it. Um, I do kind of want to break this cell in. I get, I've heard people say that like you need to run it for a while, um, but I want to wait until I get everything mounted and I get, take it outside and for me to run it for a little while. So, yeah, that's about it for this video. I probably will be posting a video about my power supply and maybe after everything's put in the thing, I'll make another video <clears throat> and describe it all. So, um, thank you for watching, and yep.